This is Pastor Mike Philiber of Heritage Presbyterian Church and Pastor Wes Martin, Assistant Pastor of Heritage Presbyterian Church. We're beginning a new video series um, at least once or twice a week called Why? And so if you have uh, answered questions you would like us to answer, some, uh, we will try to do that within about five minutes. And so this morning what I wanted to do is ask Wes, um, Wes was an atheist, so having been an atheist, um, and then thinking about all the scandals that have gone in Christian churches, Christian leaders, and so forth, why are you a Christian? So without getting into my whole testimony, I'm convinced, I, I'm a Christian because I became convinced that atheism was not true and Christianity was. Um, through this sort of long story, I had to begin to deal with two things. Was the Bible a trustworthy historical document, which I didn't think it was, and did the resurrection happen, which, which as an atheist, I didn't think was possible. Um, but I began to be confronted with a couple of things. Um, C.S. Lewis's Mere Christianity really made me think through, okay, my moral lifestyle as an atheist, because I was this sort of pharisaical moral atheist, didn't make any sense. And probability-wise, there seems to be a design which would involve a, a deity, a, a god. So that made me go, okay, so maybe there could be a god. And then I began to read about uh, the, you know, the reliability of the scriptures. Uh, these scholars, a guy named uh, Richard Bauckham and a guy named F.F. F. Bruce and uh, a guy by the name of Van Hooser, uh, amongst others, uh, and C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien, and I began to realize, oh, there's actually reasons, like historiographically, academically good reasons, to believe the Bible really happened. But the central thing was the resurrection. Did Jesus come back from the dead? So I began to investigate that. And well, if these records are true, then he did. And I began to read books like um, The Case for Christ by Lee Strobel. Uh, and I began to look at stuff like the letter of Diognetus and uh, the church historian Eusebius and stuff in this big old compendium Josh McDowell put together of ancient documents. And then uh, this big old book, academic book by N.T. Wright called The Resurrection of the Son of God that really took all that evidence and shoved it together in an argument. And I went, oh, crud. Uh, apparently, Jesus did come back from the dead, which means Christianity's true and I'm a sinner so I guess I'd better put my faith in Jesus and trust him, uh, right? And, you know, when it comes to scandals and things like that, because you, you asked about that, since I'm convinced of the sinner thing, I'm not surprised when I sin, I'm not surprised when others sin. I, I don't like that Christians sin, and I, I know why that could keep people from believing in Christianity, but at the end of the day, right, if you discover Neil Armstrong had some great moral failing, which I don't know of any, but if, if you did discover he'd committed adultery or something, that wouldn't make you then go, therefore he didn't go to the moon. And so the fact that Christians do bad things doesn't disprove Jesus rising from the dead. Yeah, that's a great point. Very good. And so, um, so good. Thank you very much. I appreciate you presenting that and uh, telling us that. So if you are watching, we're glad that you watched, and we would love to continue. We're going to continue to do this, and so we would love to hear from you in the comment section or emails, maybe some other questions you would like us to address in our series, Why? Again, I'm Pastor Mike Philibur, Senior Pastor here at Heritage Presbyterian Church. This is Wes Martin, Assistant Pastor here at Heritage Presbyterian Church. is at 14500 Northwestern Avenue in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. 73013. Till the next time, bye. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Come unto me.